Hi everyone, my name is Tisimelo Belinda Tolwana, an MSc clinical microbiology student at Lovely Professional University. And today I'll be walking you through an intriguing yet heartbreaking story of a kidney transplant rejection. Imagine this, after months on dialysis, Mr. X finally receives a kidney donor. Everything, everything seems to be perfect until a few weeks later, his body starts rejecting the very same gift that was meant to save his life. So what exactly is happening in Mr. X's body? Let's go through that. The immune system, which usually protects us from infections, would have mistaken the kidney as a foreign invader. This happens because of the differences in human leukocyte antigen between the donor and the recipient. And T cells will recognize these antigens as non-self, which will further trigger a cascade of immune responses involving cytotoxic T lymphocytes, T cell helpers and antibodies. And this will definitely result in inflammation, tissue injury, and ultimately and definitely uh, organ rejection. By so saying, there will be either three of these type of rejections, which could be hyperacute rejection, acute rejection, or chronic rejection. And a hyperacute rejection happens within a few minutes due to pre-existing antibodies, whereas the acute rejection will be happening or occurring within a few days mainly to t-cell mediation and further the chronic rejection is the one that ha happens slowly or develops slowly and casually which can actually lead to the failure of the organ so now here is the hero side of the story which is immunosuppressive therapy which we can also call peacekeepers this drug silenced the immune army allowing the transplanted kidney to live peacefully inside the body the significance of the immunosuppressive therapy will be to block the T cell activation, to stop the immune cell multiplication, and to further reduce inflammation and cytokine release. Together, they trick the immune system into standing strong. But of course, in every truth, there is a price to pay. So here is the catch. Suppressing the immune system means opening a gate to other infections, cancers and definitely metabolic disorders a patient might face opportunistic infections like fungal diseases malignancies such as skin cancer organ toxicity and further metabolic disorders such as hypertension and diabetes so while these drugs save lives they demand constant monitoring and careful balancing in order for everything to go well in summary, kidney transplantation is a life-saving miracle, but it's also a tight rope walk between rejection and infection. Through understanding immunology and carefully managing therapy, we can help patients like Mr. X live longer, healthier with their new kidneys.